Hi everybody, I'm Sarah with the trains and I'm here at West Runton Station ready to head off to find a disused railway structure. So let's go. We're having a little wander past Retting Pond that I saw last time I was here at West Runton. Now I'm no expert but I think the byways to get to where I want to go are um, restricted in all directions. Now, I didn't film the first part of my walk because I had to go through a golf course at my own risk and I didn't really walk, I kind of ran because I didn't want to get hit with the golf ball. Now, if what I found out about maps online, I should be able to get to where I want to go to. This way. Oh, oh, it's a kissing gate, but apparently there are goats grazing. So we are going to head up. Inselborough Hill. I don't know if that's how it's pronounced, but uh, let's go anyway. So when I was reading about these footways um, online before I came out today, I um, read that this is like the highest hill in, I think, Norfolk as a whole. So I said this bit would be a challenge and I like a challenge, I think. Just stopping for a second to show you the golf course I had to go through to get here. I suspect that that path I can just see down there may have been a more direct route to where I want to go. However, I wanted to see the scenery. For God's sake, why did I want to see the scenery? A bench! Incidentally, from up here, you actually have a really good view of the railway line. Oh, and the sea, I suppose, but who cares about that? Another bench. They knew I was coming. Lots of gorse up here again. Will we meet Winnie the Pooh this time? Who knows? So I was just looking out at that beautiful view there and thinking, oh, I'm here. What wonderful views, totally worth it. And then I realized I'm not at the top yet. It's over there. One final push, nearly there. A very welcome bench. Well, we actually made it up here. I would go so far as to say that the view is worth it. I am now going to spend a couple of minutes here, enjoy the scenery, catch my breath, maybe have a little drink of water, or maybe half a gallon of water, and then head back down to that little path that I thought would probably be more direct to where I want to go. <laughs> Goodbye, Inselborough Hill. Now, after that fairly big detour to climb a hill, um, let's get back on the route to where I'm going to. I'll give you, I'll give you a clue where it is. Well, I've just come from West Runton and I'm walking east. Hmm. Can you guess? Okay, I have an issue. I've got two paths. There's one where you go through a kissing gate. There's another one that goes that way. That way would look more like a direct route, but which one's the right one? Let's go left. Ew, I changed my mind. Let's go right. While we're walking along, well, I'm walking along, you're watching. I'm going to give you a bit of advice. And I should take my own advice. If you decide to go somewhere like that great big hill, take somebody with you because it occurred to me on the way down that if I tripped on one of those steps and broke my ankle there's nobody there. 
chances are nobody else is going to walk there, possibly today, maybe not even tomorrow. So I'd have to do some serious Bear grill survival stuff to go and get help. But I've never learned because I've been doing stuff like going for walks of that nature on my own since I was a teenager, which my mother will attest to. I have encountered a stile which is going to allow me to get back onto that path that I didn't want to go down because there was that muddy bit. Okay, let's go. Now, we are again faced with a choice, left path or right path. The right path says it's a circular walk. That's the only information it gives. This path runs closer to the railway liney path. I'm going to go right because I'm sure I read something online about a circular walk that does in fact lead you to where I need to go. Aha! I've come upon a sign. You are here, is the little red dot. And where am I? I believe... Oh, right, okay. From the looks of it, I am on what's labelled up as a, permissi a, a public bridleway. Okay. Right, let's keep going on the uh, public bridleway then. Right, I've come to another one of these signs and it's pointing me in the direction of, well, the circular walk is going both ways, but I guess that's because it's circular. So we're going this way. I've become very aware that this video is suddenly becoming primarily about me actually getting to the destination rather than about the destination itself. I promise the destination will feature in this video and I'm starting to see some houses. So I think that means we're getting close facilities on this circular walk include a dog poo bin. Aha! A road. Right, we are off that bridle way. Oh, there's a play area. If there weren't kids already playing on it, I'd go and have a go on swings. I found a pond! Not only have I found a pond, I've also found our destination. There you have it. East Runton Viaduct and I think it's rather majestic. This viaduct was built by the Norfolk and Suffolk Joint Railway to carry a line for the Great Eastern Railway up to Sheringham, uh, avoiding Cromer. Now, as this allowed the Great Eastern Railway access to Sheringham Station, that meant that both Midland and Great Northern staff and Great Eastern staff were using that station, but the Midland and Great Northern staff weren't that happy with Great Eastern using their facilities, so they actually built a separate part of Sheringham Station um, for the Great Eastern staff to use. Having opened in 1906, the last passenger service crossed the viaduct in 1952, and it was closed entirely in 1963. Now, as much as I would love to climb up on top and see what is on top of that viaduct, um, I think you can just see there has been some fencing put on there. I, I have seen pictures online because other people have been up there, but that fencing is new and it's not safe for me to try and get up there. So I'm afraid this is the best I can do. So I was very briefly having uh, some second thoughts about whether I should try and get up there but I think the getting down again would be a massive problem and as disappointed as I am that I can't get up there I think I've got to think about my safety. As you can see from this aerial map the track that once ran across the viaduct has been lifted and nature has been left to take over. Much as with Cromer Railway Tunnel, which I went to a little while ago and I will link. This is another masterpiece of engineering. Um, the only difference with Cromer Railway Tunnel is that you can see this freely. 
sadly there is some graffiti on the viaduct which I do sort of accept as an inevitability with most structures, old or new. <laughs> I think it's a crying shame that the old track bed um, for the Norfolk and Suffolk Joint Railway line that went across there hasn't been turned into a public footpath and cycleway. The structural integrity of the viaduct itself is still, so far as I'm aware, perfectly fine. So it's a shame that it's just sitting there. This is the second viaduct in East Runton. This was built in 1887 by the Midland and Great Northern Joint Railway to carry their line up to Sheringham. And it is still used to this day by the Bittern line. Again, this is another beautiful railway structure, beautiful piece of architecture, and it's even older than than the disused one, and it's still still being used. It's still structurally sound. It's still it's still in good condition. <laughs> Things were built to last in that period. Now that I've taken a walk up a hill, a long walk through a bridleway, and explored two viaducts in East Runton. Let's go actually walk into East Runton because I've never been to East Runton before. So let's go. There's a beach. phone box on the beach road car park. Does it work? Do we want to know? Oh god this is disgusting. It works. I don't know what this thing is out near the beach but I like it. Also beach shower. Okay, somebody's written in the sand, I love you Mel Johnson. Mel Johnson, if you're watching, somebody loves you. I don't know who. Up near the cliffs at East Runton, we have this. Now, this just sort of looks like a bit of a wall sticking out of the beach. And in some ways, that's true. But in other ways, it's inaccurate. This is a world war two pillbox. Do not ask me what type of pillbox because from this limited amount that I can see I think it is very difficult to ascertain what kind it is. This didn't actually used to be on the beach from what I've read online it actually was up on the cliff tops but as you can see coastal erosion means it is here but still in existence. I would not want to be in one of those um, static caravans that are so close to the cliff edge. Well, I think it's that time in the video where I say I've been Sarah with the trains. Thank you all so much for watching. Thanks to everybody who likes, subscribes, comments. A special thanks to everybody who donates to me on Ko-fi. If you've enjoyed this, please give it a like and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more from me. This is East Runton Beach and Cliffs. And this is the North Sea. See you again next time. Bye. Time to go to Cromer and get some ice cream. Or chips or both. <laughs>